Pick up on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Tenth carry now for Anderson. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Haven't been a defense coordinator yet. I think second and two is a fun situation to try and defend. The playbook is wide open for an offense partner. Nice job. Hold him to one after that eight-yard pickup on first down. The Giants on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Back to throw. Hostetler. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Looking to throw. Hostetler. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Operating from the gun. Hostetler. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Handoff comes to Anderson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And yeah, the Giants are going to have a first and goal forthcoming as he takes this down to about the five-yard line. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's gonna wind up incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Back to throw. Hostetler. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Absolutely nowhere to go with the football, and he's just going to put this one in the Hudson River. Maybe he's a little fortunate he didn't get called for grounding because that one was well over everyone's head. Third and goal, and keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. 60 mark, 60 mark, 60 mark. Looking to throw, Hostetler toward the pylon, caught, touchdown Giants. Saquon Barkley, a five yard touchdown. 
And the Giants are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And no sweat, he puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told, and it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. Separating these two sides, 24 all our score as he sends this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive tumble. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. And it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw again, Cunningham, and that'll be incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. Important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. To throw on third down, Cunningham. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The Eagles send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Giants will begin this drive in good shape, first and 10. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. They had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time, they get at least a little bit more of a cushion with field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try and cut down the length of the drive. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. A loss of four that time on the sack, and it brings up second. Clock rolling as the Giants will hurry to the line. Off the play fake. Hostetler. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. It'll be a loss of only a couple on the sack, but now it'll bring up third down. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. And a quick throw here, that's complete. The Eagles gonna take the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game.
Here's Riley Dixon now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. Fair catch called for right around the 11 yard line. Here we go. Here Just we go. 34 yards Here on the punt there, no return. And the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences caught. Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. And who's got it? The Giants! I'm fairly sure that there's no good time to cough up the football. But this couldn't be much worse, could it? No. This situation, this yard, this yard line, no chance. They set it on a tee for the already in field goal range here late in the fourth now. Yeah, warm up the kicker. <laughs> Just make sure they take care of the ball now. They've got a chance to put this thing away. The New York set to take the field. They are already in field goal range. Let's see how they want to play this, Charles. And I have a feeling I know how they want to play this already. Run the football to the hash mark that works best for their kicker. They already have the field goal unit lined up, ready to run out there and go get it done. They practice this, they understand the situation, and with that amount of time, they can do it. Let's see how they carry it over into the game. Here's second and nine. Again, Anderson. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. Now here's a timeout as they will indeed call it with five seconds to go and a chance with a field goal to win the game. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. He made his only attempt earlier. This for the win. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. And you know, in an era of cross cutting and maximizing your roster, this is a club that does not skimp on special teams. And in these situations, it pays dividends. And that's great vision by the organization. When the difference between winning or losing depends on who you have kicking the ball, would you rather have a street free agent out there or a solid pro like this? Answer's pretty evident to me. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Jackson now to return. <laughs> 